For years, my family's been coming to Maine, and my wife loves the place, and it's inspired a lot of her alcohol inks art. And now that she's retired and doing her art full time, we're looking for more inspirations. And so we're creating this series to share that search and just to share the things we love about Maine while we go look for more things to love. In a previous episode, we visited the Harlow Gallery in Hollowell and attended the opening of an exhibit by Erin Seegers, who does wonderful collage work. And we got to talking to her and she invited us down to her studio. So we drove down to her home in Brunswick. Aaron is a great person and so expressive that I'm just basically going to shut up. There'll be no music. We're just going to let her tell us about her art in her own words. So this is my little studio. It's a lovely little um, space that we built out. Um, it used to be a garage. And now it's this nice little studio. As you can see, I've cleaned it up for you. <laughs> You didn't have to, but, but well, when it's in its glory, it's pretty a lot of piles. I started collaging in my sketchbook um, 2015, 2016. This is how I started. Just paper, just magazines mm -hmm. and notebooks and scissors and um, glue sticks. Yeah. And just having so much fun just with the shapes, with the imagery. And there's something about, I don't know if you've ever done any collage, but there's something about mm -hmm. doing collage just like this as a private kind of personal practice. That it's, there's no, there's no responsibility, right? You can, you're just playing with these things. You don't have to come up with the line. You don't have to draw the eye, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's, it was really freeing and really felt, um, I really love my I really love my old collage books. 2018, 19, I started kind of playing on some of these boards and what I have learned this year is I'm not a painter. I got out my brushes and I get out the paint and it just doesn't feel like it's not the juice. But mm -hmm. if I then I get out a trowel and then I, you know, tear up some collage material and so for me it's all about the mixed media collage looms really large and um, just cutouts um, cutouts and negative spaces are just just what I love to play with really the way I work I do generally um, start I don't have anything in the super first stages here but I do generally start with paint okay. you know some kind of just, just some kind of paint but then always always the next step is to get out the collage materials mm -hmm. so i have all of these i have all of these um, places there's this bin and there's this bin and there's those piles and a lot of the fun of the way i work is um the, the hunt you know yeah. look at all this fun stuff and you just and it looks different every day, you know, depending on what you're working with, but depending on what I'm working with, you know, ooh, that's gonna be nice and I get that oh, out. Look at that. And then um finally the hunt and then I just I do that, you know, I do this oh. a lot. And then I'll I use gel medium for things. So it's a back and forth between paint okay. layers yes. and um, collage layers, and then I do like to use a lot of dry medium. I like to use Conti crayon. I love color pencils. Uh -huh. I love oil pastels. You know, I just go. You know, I. You know, it's like a back and forth between dry medium and wet medium, basically. Mm -hmm. um, nice. In kind of a wild, wild way. I have to say, yeah. I love it when things get a little bit messy. Mm -hmm. Every one of my paintings has a lot of layers. Mm -hmm. You know, and part of the process is layering and covering up and part of the point is the history and the unseen and the mystery and I love it when, you know, it becomes textured and it becomes, um, you can see the relief of the previous layers, that mm -hmm. stuff I just really love and it indicates this idea that there's a lot under there that you can't see. Yeah. It's a lot of metaphor. And so at some point it's, you know, this one morphed into, it's kind of about the color combination, the blue. 
and the orange. Oh yeah, I love to use a lot of different tools as well. Oh, yeah. oh you know, I love applying paint with brayers. Mm -hmm. I love scraping. I love scraping oh, things. Nice. This is a tool that I couldn't live without. I love scraping oh. things back, you know, to reveal, to reveal whatever. I've really, I've really come to like accept the pro that process of like, um, you know, we'll just peel it back a little bit, and whatever mm -hmm. comes up is the good is the right thing to. If you just put a few colors out and then pick up a little, a little, a little, and then, and it does its own thing. Oh, nice. Yeah. I I like letting materials do their own thing. It's all about for me pushing it through, and working with the idea of. Um, just keeping going on a painting, keeping going on a painting, and not being afraid to cover up layers, and just keeping going. So, and maintaining a certain sense of freedom. And there is something about that painting that I think, you know, is foretell. There's a little foreshadowing there for where I would like to go. There's something about this little piece, and that there are layers. And I love the idea of different. Uh, oh, there's, there's hidden beauty. Hidden beauty, and these and these kind of distinct, like spaces, or mm -hmm. I, I call them rooms. Uh -huh. You know, maybe akin to all of the places in the human psyche or emotion. Like we all have these um, different spaces. I find myself using the cutouts and the cutoffs and the um, the scraps. Uh, like for instance, this gorgeous piece of paper was a palette paper. Oh. Just like this is what you end up and with, and a lot of people would throw this away. Titles are really important to me, and titles come, you know, usually when I'm in process. Sometimes I borrow titles if I'm listening to a podcast, and somebody says a beautiful makes a beautiful just a few words together that I think is are beautiful. For instance. This one came from that, like I think where oh. shadows can't be found and in the absence of you. These come from like I'm listening to a podcast or something and it's just a few words taken out of context, which is something I also love to do, take things out of context. But the titles for me are very important and there is never literal. I mean, in this, it, this process is all about exploration. I'm definitely... Um, you're an, an explorer. explorer. I'm definitely a seeker, which is, I would say, um, something that I, but outside of my art studio, I would never, I, the explorer would never be my title. Mm -hmm. But in here, explorer is definitely I my title. Yes. So it's in, it's really, um, there's a lot to learn about oneself engaging in the process of art. Um, and I've, re I've really been appreciating it's such a such a great metaphor for life this layering I'm always telling myself like you know keep going like just just keep going just make another mark just you know um, when things get a little bit confusing and the one we just I just heard from somebody that I didn't come up with it but um, is that art like paintings are just an artifact of the process. Like art is an artifact of the process that you're engaged in, and I really resonate with that because mm -hmm. it's a continuum. It's it's this whole this whole process from how whenever you start um, engaging in the art process um, until you stop. Each piece is is just a continuum, and it's just a moment in in your in your development. As I said at the beginning, Erin speaks very well for herself. Her art not only speaks for itself, but draws you in and whispers things in your ears. So I really felt honored to be able to visit this because it was like being inside a collage. It was really awesome visiting her. Now, you, if you want to find out more about Erin, you can visit her website, erinseegers.com. Follow her on Instagram at Seegers Studio. Aaron's Exploration Exhibit, and we now know why it's called Explorations, is on display at the Harlow Gallery in Hollowell through July 23rd. 
And July 13th, 6.30 p.m., Aaron is going to give an artist talk at the Hollowell. That ought to be great. I know I'm going to be there. In our next episode, we're going to visit the Heritage Day Festival in Bath, Maine. Big music festival over the 4th of July weekend. So that has a lot of good sites, but we're going to gravitate to the art in the park. Visit our people, folks who stand under canopies showing off their work. And we're going to bring you back, hopefully, because we haven't done it yet, some really great stuff. 